hashtag white genocide. That's where we are as a country. That's where we are on YouTube at the end of 2016. We're having a conversation with alt-right YouTubers. Particularly, this is a response for millennial woes and uh, the conversation he recently had with Spinosaurican about white ethno-nationalism. I am hard-pressed to come to terms with how very mainstream the alt-right has made this idea of white genocide. And it's so cynical that a bunch of Nazis are so worried about non-white people committing a genocide against them in Western Europe. Because last time I checked, the most notorious genocide of the last hundred years in Western Europe was perpetrated by white ethno-nationalists. Nazis. Nazis like the YouTuber Millennial Woes. You know, his recent... Uh, you know what fascinates me about this alt-right thing? Everybody, everybody's been going off on this uh, dapper gentleman white supremacy thing. You know, even, even Mother Jones had an article. You know, these guys are so suave and, and well-spoken. Uh, this guy, Millennial Woes, he was part of the whole uh, edgy sphinx agent provocateur scandal recently where a closet uh, white nationalist had infiltrated the YouTube skeptic community under false pretenses. Basically, Edgy was uh, the life of the party until he shifted from uh, being a white man who proposed uh, radical nationalism and, and anti-immigration policies when he shifted from being a white man who advocated nationalism in a general sense, which I think I think is so close to when Edgy actually shifted into being a white man who asserted white nationalism explicitly, all of a sudden he was cast out of Valhalla. And one of the reasons that he was cast out of Valhalla is some correlation with this, 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 these, these proponents, these, these alt-right YouTubers like Millennial Woes. Millennial Woes, the golden one, they, they advocate for a white ethno-state using politically correct language. It, it is so deeply disturbing in the marrow of my bones that there are people who have co-opted polite terms and sort of this Swiftian proposition. Except the modest proposal isn't about the cannibalism of poor people, but about a wink-wink, nudge-nudge kind of... Uh, Nostalgia for the unfinished Reich of Adolf Hitler, the, the restoration of the dream of an Aryan nation. That's, in spite of his uh, soft tone and uh, weasel words and wishy-washy Eggy in the basket accent is what Millennial Woes is proposing 
when he talks about a nation for white people. In the interview that he did in the Google Hangout he did with Spinosauruskin, Millennial Woes was pressed about the practical implementation of the white nation. How could the alt-rights utopia be achieved? And I'll tell you a, a secret that is not really a secret. The danger of utopian philosophy of any kind, the idea that a perfect society can exist if just certain people would disappear always necessitates mass murder, genocide. So it's interesting that the rallying cry of the alt-right would be white genocide, and, and yet somehow not surprising because the, 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 the Nazi movement has always been a movement who claims they are committing atrocities in self-defense. The, 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 the majority of authoritarian states who commit mass murder usually will mask and frame their crimes as self-defense. So don't be fooled when millennial woes comes to you and tells you that he doesn't know. He doesn't know how they're going to achieve a white nation. How they're going to peacefully persuade all of the non-whites who don't have a genetic entitlement to the land they're on. Don't believe him when he tells you, I, I don't know, you guys. I don't know how we're going to get all the non-whites out. It'll probably, it'll probably be, <laughs> we'll pay them subsidies to move. Well, what about the people that don't want to move? Well, I don't know. It's being coy. There have been other videos where, again, he uses weaselly, quasi-PC language to imply Holocaust. And again, it was framed in defensive terms. The race war's coming. The other side is going to draw first blood anyway. We have to defend ourselves. We're going to be forced to because the insurgent force of non-white, militant breeding is going to force us to engage in race war, to defend the future of white ovaries and the propagation of white babies. Seriously. Seriously. I, I can't make this up. I know the dump Star Wars thing is like the most retarded... Retarded... Tone deaf iteration of this this movement, but it is not <clears throat> harmless. It's just something very dangerous presented in banal terms. It seems harmless because it's preposterous. The idea of white genocide is preposterous. 
The idea that white men not being a default in pop culture is ridiculous. The idea that migrants breed with the forethought of replacing white people in their home nations is absurd. But it needs to be taken seriously only because of the people that are proposing it. 